Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the lock screen for your Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus but it also works on any Samsung Galaxy S22 series like uh, Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus, S22 Ultra and just S22. So in, uh, as you can see I have the lock screen on uh, and I need to draw the pattern but I forgot my pattern and I don't know how to unlock it. And in order to fix that, we'll need to perform the uh, reboot on our phone, restart everything on our phone, it's factory res reset, and it will wipe all the data and everything from your phone, like your images, your contacts, your videos, apps, files, etc. Just uh, everything will be wiped from your phone. So before doing that, make sure uh, and uh, keep in mind that this will happen. So okay, in order to actually um, perform the restart, we'll need to get to the boot menu. And what you'll need to do is get the like type C cable and plug it into your computer and then uh, plug it inside your phone like this like you would be charging your phone but instead of plugging the cable into the charger plug it into the PC <coughs> sorry and um, the next uh, step is to press the this lock key right here this button and the volume down button at the same time this key and this key so we need to uh, actually unlock our phone to see when it turns off so it should some look like something like this now press the down key and uh, lock key at the same time and just hold it now our phone has turned off and we can begin doing the restart so now press the lock key and volume up key at the same time And just hold it until you see the Samsung Galaxy sign like this. And now you'll be in the boot menu. So to navigate boot menu, you'll do it by volume down, pressing volume down key to move down and pressing volume up key to move up. And we want to find the um, we want to find the wipe data factory reset right here. And to actually lock it, we'll need to press the lock key right here. So we press on the wipe data factory reset with the lock key now. Then again, volume down to select factory data reset. And just press the lock key again to confirm it. Now we need to reboot our system now with a uh, lock key again now let's just unplug the cable because we don't need it anymore and we can press uh, start right here now choose the language for uh, the system and where we'll be oh sorry we'll be going for We'll be going for English United Kingdom and next connect to mobile network on agree to all the policies and uh, everything it but it's optional permissions for Samsung app services I'm just gonna enable them all and agree and now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi and just select the network that you have the password for and just type in the password let me just do that off the screen
Now, when uh, you see the screen, it asks you to get your password back, um, but you forgot it, so we're gonna use my Google account instead. And from here, you'll need to log into your um, Gmail account that was last used on this phone. So let me do, just do that. So I've just typed in the my Gmail and the password and it will ask me who will be using the device. I'm just gonna say that I'll be using it and press next. Here just select add previous account. I'm not gonna copy the data, you can. Then just go next. Don't restore. More, more, accept. Now choose the default mm, search engine. I will use Google. I'm gonna skip all the passwords and uh, protection for the phone because we want to bypass this. So we press skip, skip anyway. And uh, skip the voice assistant. You can agree to voice assistant. I'm just gonna skip all of that. And now just disable all the apps because I don't want them to be downloaded. Skip the Samsung account, skip, and finish the setup. So our phone is ready. We can lock it and check if the password is still uh, enabled. It's not. I can just easily unlock my phone like that. And that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a like and a comment below.